Hey there, it's Paul here, and uh, today uh, is my uh, third day of the Shailene Johnson Push Challenge, and I know that I'm not Shailene Johnson, obviously, but I want to be the messenger and kind of share with what I'm learning doing this thing, and uh, today what she's having us do is record our goals, so write down 10 goals. And what you want to do today is come up with 10 goals that are just unbelievable. Like you can barely even imagine them. Anything you can think of that, you know, if everything was perfect, this is how you'd want it to be. And you're going to go ahead and write down those 10 goals and put those away. Because she's going to have you do that again in 7 days. So... Your assignment today, get out a piece of paper, write down those 10 goals, anything that is just out of the ordinary, anything that, you know, maybe you're not sure you can complete it or not, but, you know, put it on there, and it could be anything. So, I'll, I'll share with you my 10 goals, and these could change, but these are my 10 goals right now, and uh, so I got make six figures. This is something I want to do. Uh, as a teacher by trade, to make six figures, it's going to take me quite a while to get there. So I, I want to get this going. Um, you know, a fitness goal of mine has been to get a six-pack. Uh, it's been a struggle. I won't lie. Uh, you know, you may look at me like, what? You can't get a six-pack? Yeah, it's been a struggle. Uh, I'm almost there, getting close. I went from 16.9% body fat, and I'm down to about 12% now. And I need to get down to about probably 10 and maybe a little below that to get to, to reach my goal. Um, you know, I could have quit pretty easily. I could have been like, yeah, forget it. There's no way this is going to work. But I know that will not help me reach my goal. And I'm not a quitter. Uh, I'm probably the most persistent person you're ever going to meet. Like, I don't stop. I can tell you story after story about that. But I'm going to get on with the goals. Uh, buy a house. This has been a dream of mine for quite a while now. And uh, I want to make this a reality. I really do. Uh, I've been living in an apartment way too long. And I'm sick of it, to be honest. Um, you know, the market took a turn for the worse. In education, cuts came. And I was one of those victims. And if you've seen any of my videos before, read any of my blog posts, you know my story. So, uh... You know, it's, it's been a struggle the last few years. It's been a struggle, but I'm a fighter. I'm going to keep going. Keep it going strong. Uh, another one, pay off my student loan. Another thorn in my side. Another thorn in my side. I freaking hate my student loan. Every time I see this thing, it pisses me off. I went to college, and I got this stupid thing hanging over my head. And it needs to go. And 2013, good enough for me. Get rid of it. Goodbye. Kiss it bye, okay? And then... Uh, complete reading the Bible. This is something I started about two years ago, and I haven't finished yet. So, <laughs> um, I'm getting close, but I haven't finished, and, and that's just because of lack of uh, dedication to it. You know, I just have not been doing it the way I should be doing it. <laughs> Take a vacation for at least two weeks. I, I can't even tell you when the last time I had a real vacation for two weeks. It's been a very, very, very long time, so this is one of my goals. Lead a team of 100 plus. This is a dream of mine. I want to become a great leader. And I feel I have it in me. I feel I have what it takes. And the thing about me is I rise up to challenges, but I also love helping others. I want to help motivate others, uh, not only health-wise, but financially too. And just mentally, overcoming their, their hurdles. These things that get in the way, you know, that hold us back. And I'm not immune to it. I've, got, I've dealt with it, man. I, and I'm still working on it myself. Every day I turn into Danny Johnson. Every single day. Why? Because i got all these cobwebs in my head. For years and years and years of hearing, I can't do this, I can't do that. Um, you know, it took its toll. And I started to believe it. And as you get beat up year after year after year and things don't go the way you want them to, 
you kind of throw in the towel and you're like, well, this is just how it's supposed to be. Well, that's a lie. Don't believe that for one second. You are greater than that and end of story. Just, you, you got to keep doing your personal development. You have to get that stuff out of your head. That, that, that thing that's telling you you can't do it is not possible. It's always going to be like this. And that's a bunch of crap and you need to just let that go. Okay. Another goal of mine kind of goes with the lead of Team 100 is help at least 500 people, at least 500 people get healthy and fit. And this is huge for me because this is just a passion of mine. I want to help people. More than anything, I want to help people. I've been a trainer. I'm a PE teacher. I became a PE teacher because I wanted to help the next generation get fit, healthy and fit. And hopefully that will come out to the community, get the parents. You know, this is just what I'm about. I love it. You know, and it's not always easy. I get a lot of uh, negativity. You know, a lot, a lot. Oh, I can't do this. No, I don't want to do it. I'm lazy. I just want to watch TV. But I believe there are people out there that do want to make a change. One of those people could be you. And I could be the guy that could help you get to where you want to go. So, uh, this is a goal of mine. I actually was going to put a thousand. But in a year, a thousand seemed kind of high to me. Although, I don't know, because like the Beachbody Challenge, they've got over 2 million people in the Beachbody Challenge. 2 million people. So, that, that, to me, that's phenomenal. That is just phenomenal. Uh, create a residual income of 15000 a month. You know, I was going to put a higher number, like 30000 a month. Because, you know, I, I believe I can get there. I believe I can get to 100000 a month. Uh... You know, you may think I'm, I'm out of my mind. I've seen enough people do this, so I believe I can do it. I believe I have what it takes. And for so many years, I have been just trying to figure it out. And I finally have kind of figured out how to go about it. I'm in a vehicle now that will get me there. So I'm very excited about that. It's just a matter of mastering the skills and applying what I learn and just going and doing it. Staying pers perseverant, staying driven. And just continuing to work, you know, and I'll make it happen. I promise you that. And uh, finally, automate my business online. And this is really something that just started recently, probably about a year ago, where I started thinking like, wow, you know, it'd be really, really cool if I could just figure out how to make a living online. I see people doing it. I'd love to just be sleeping. I wake up in the morning, there's a thousand bucks waiting for me in my bank account. Again, you might think that's just out of the mind, out of your mind crazy, but it's a reality. People are doing it. So, you know, if I don't start doing it, you know, what's going to happen? I'm, nothing. If you don't start doing it, what's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing's going to change. So I have taken upon myself to start learning those skills. And, uh, you know, I have some resources that are really helping me develop these skills. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to keep this video too much longer. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, these are my 10 goals now. Next week, they might be a little different, but they'll probably be pretty similar because my, my main goal is to develop a residual income. A residual income. And what that is, is you continually have income coming in. No matter what, that income is coming in. And, you know, having that kind of a thing, I mean, just think about how freeing that is. You no longer have to depend on your job. If you lose your job, you have this residual income coming in. Uh, I don't know about you, but to me, it just makes sense. Now, you might be someone that loves your job, and you make more than enough money, and, you know, you don't need this. You don't need to be develop a residual income because you have it all together, and everything's going great for you. But if, if it's not, if it's not, I suggest getting that residual income. And even if it is, I still suggest getting that residual income. Any person you talk to that knows anything is going to tell you you need to have multiple streams of income. So, yeah. So those are my goals. I'll be back again soon to tell you about the next day. I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. I'm trying to keep them pretty short and to the point. I don't want to get too carried away or anything like that. 
Uh, I know uh, I know I'm not the best at video, but hey, you know what? You gotta start somewhere. Like I told you before, take action. Don't think, just do. And the one thing you'll you'll learn about me is I practice what I preach. I will not tell you to do something I myself am not doing. I just don't think there's any value in that. Why would you want to follow someone that does that? It's it's stupid, you know. Um, so everything I talk about is something I do and I believe in and I believe works. So at least you know that going forward, that that's who I am. That's what I'm about. I practice what I preach. I try to be the best example I can be. And, uh, that's that. So I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you have a great day or night or whatever time you're viewing this video. Um, and I will see you soon.